afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com, and I'm doing a market review here of the QQQs because this is worthwhile to look at here today. I, I'm, I, I am shocked that this gap held today. I mean, I did not even remotely think that we would hold like this today in the sky. Am I surprised in the overall picture, though? No, because the market is so, so, so strong, which I continue to tell everyone. But I really saw the gap this morning, and this is not a great gap. This is not a great bullish gap. This is not a great bullish gap. This isn't a bullish gap that I would have aggressively gone long in. But if you did go long this gap today, you made money, and it would have kept going if we didn't close at 4 o'clock. And I even thought that we would hold and halt around 3 o'clock reversal time that the market would come in into the close, and it didn't do it. And this market is just so strong. We could, I have no idea what we do on Monday. I, I really don't because I didn't expect this gap today to hold. I knew we would continue rallying, okay, but the gap today wasn't great. It just wasn't. But we rallied anyways. I mean, the market is just a pillar, a tower of strength. There's just no stopping it. And the fact that we held in this poor gap today just gives me even more confirmation and conviction about how strong this market is. It's almost like there is nothing stopping it. And the way that this looks here now looks like we are going to immediately just go right up over and make a new high. We are just going to go right up and do it. Like we are not even going to pull back before we do it again. Not that we needed to, but I thought we'd hold neutral today. Neutral, neutral, a small red neutral. We didn't. We could just keep right on going and get a new high right away. This is a beautiful chart. And let me just see where we, what time we even set the low of the day. I mean, I didn't, I didn't call the market long today because I thought we were going to be neutral. And then I thought we'd come into the close a little bit. We didn't, we didn't even do that. I mean, literally, if the market hadn't closed at four o'clock, we would have kept going. And, and, and again, I'm surprised just on the day, but not in the bigger picture. But I guess nothing surprises me because the market's so strong, so strong, which I keep telling everyone, and I know, but even in a crap gap we held in the sky. We set the low of the day at 945 exactly. Look at that. I mean, this is like, look at that. <sighs> So we could gap up on Monday and run. We could open neutral on Monday and run. If we gap down, I don't think we run, but we could. Because I didn't think we'd run like this and hold like this in the gap today, and we did, and we ran out of day, and that means the market wanted to keep going. Literally could have kept going through 108 and then up to 109. I mean, there is nothing stopping this market. And anyone that's in this market overnight should be long. This is not a short, and I know there are shorts in here. There's shorts in here that shorted this double top over here, that shorted this lower high. I know there's shorts in here, and over 109 we blow. Over 109 and 110 we blow, and it's, we're setting up like we could do it this coming week. And it's earnings season. We started this week. It was a slow week to trade, and you had to be so picky, 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 picky this week. And I was. I was very picky, and I'm glad I was picky. I'm so glad I was picky. But next week should be very active. The entire month of April and May should be really, really busy. And look for it to be bullish. I mean, look for the entire month of April now to be bullish. Yep. I don't even know why I'm surprised we held today in this gap because I, I know the market's so strong. I mean, I'm the one that's saying how strong we are. I mean, the one that's calling all these crazy numbers we're going to go to, which I know. It's just I'm still surprised because it was not a great bullish gap today, but you could have bought it. So beautiful look to this QQQ market. Look for us to continue higher and make a new high in the market next week. This is Melissa with the stockswitch.com and have a great weekend, everyone.